used the expertise of his glamorous wife, Sherry, a hugely successful model and holder of the Miss Fitness USA title, to add some glitz to Richard's routines. My goal was to take Richard's ability and make it even better with his routine, to really uh, make it shine, put a little bit more professionalism into it, and make it just uh, really, really just show off him teach him mandatory poses to really bring out his muscles, choreograph and make it all flow really nice so that he just put on an incredible show. People loved him. <laughs> the training had to be second to none. We would have him tan and put color on the skin because when you get the skin darker it creates shadows and that's how you get cuts on the body. And we spent uh, about an hour and a half every day on his mandatory poses. We spent about an hour on his dancing in his choreography. We spent about an hour on his weight training. And any spare time he had in between that, he was being homeschooled by Lena, his mother. Frank and I both were very determined to put Richard in the limelight, let people see him, basically put him out in the public so people could see this extraordinary kid. At eight years old, he bench pressed 210 pounds. That's three times over his body weight. No human in the world has ever done that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to announce... With his routine polished and his popularity growing, Little Hercules found himself performing to thousands of people. It wasn't long before the money began to roll in. When I met the family, they absolutely had no income. And while I was working with them, they were making a substantial amount of money. Photo shoots would vary anywhere from 500 to maybe even 5,000, $30,000 contracts here and there. And before he knew it, we were performing Madison Square Garden in New York, one of the biggest arenas in the business. We were doing all the big showrooms in Las Vegas. He would have 100, 150 people standing in line waiting patiently to get this little Hercules' his autograph. When things seemed like they couldn't get any better, Richard got to meet his all-time hero. Pinnacle does a show called the Arnold Classic, which is obviously Arnold Schwarzenegger. And it's a, the biggest show there is next to the Olympia, Mr. Olympia. And we performed at that show. And so Arnold, one day, at the biggest day, will walk around. And he, of course, obviously came to our booth, saw Richard, was just amazed at his body. Uh, came on stage, and we all got pictures together. But it was so incredible because Arnold was just totally amazed with him and shook his hand and got pictures. It was just really great. Richard was ecstatic about it. I almost freaked out to meet, I think, seven-time Mr. Universe. I was really excited, and plus, at my age, I was nine. I was a huge fan of him. Arnold told me later, I thought for sure this was a hoax. When he saw Richard, he couldn't believe. And Arnold was, uh, he, he was just as blown away with Richard as Richard was when he saw him for the first time. With Richard now firmly established as one of the biggest draws within the bodybuilding and supplement industry, his father decided that it was time to launch Richard's own miracle product. Always ready to perform in front of his father's camera, Richard even had a go at promoting it himself. Oh, it's performance, my brother. Oh, it's deep. It's performance. Two years later, and Richard is keen to transfer his skills from the small screen to the big screen. As well as taking professional acting classes, Richard is also learning how to reduce his Ukrainian accent. Imagine, if you will, that there's a rubber band attached to my chin, the other one's to my chest right about here. Okay. As I roll my head around, the rubber band's going to pull that chin down, okay? Watch me do it, okay? You know, Richard has this wonderful appeal, but his Ukrainian dialect sometimes stands in his way of being accepted by a wide audience. So what we're working on is creating the 
the broad-based standard American sound for his voice. That way, he can play more American roles. We're going to do the, uh, the cork exercise. Remember that? Get yourself a cork. I'm through the parade. Howl, O oh winds. Howl, O oh winds. Howl through the pines. Howl through the pines. We bring Richard here once a week, especially now we're preparing for his movie. It was a big difference for him. And even people who know him, they said, well, it's a big difference in his accent. He lose almost half of it. Howl over the storm swept sea. Howl I believe that all accents are trainable. I'm not in the business of dashing people's hopes and dreams. Uh, that's what Hollywood is. It's a, it's a treasure chest of hope, if you will. With Richard's busy schedule, there is little time for play. With just three weeks before the tiny Tarzan trailer is filmed, Jay, Richard's personal trainer, continues with a rigorous exercise program. Seven. What's that say, Richard? One. Uh, it's 82 kilograms and 180 pounds. 180 pound. What do you weigh right now? What, what's your weight? I'm 11 stone. Okay, he's lifting you. That's about what he's doing. He's lifting you. <laughs> In fact, it was more. Richard was about to lift almost 13 stone. Two. Lift. Good. One more. Lift. Good. One more. Three, good. Nice, that's it. Good job. Richard's title of the world's strongest boy may one day be challenged. But with 12 45-pound plates giving a total of 540 pounds, this 11-year-old boy was about to leg press the equivalent body weight of a Japanese sumo wrestler. The only reason I'm on here, okay, and I'm not really touching it, is just in case... I'm a spotter, I have to pull it off, okay? But he's very comparable for doing this weight, okay? All right, so, on three. One, two, three. Got it? Yeah, okay, got it? Okay. One. Come on, and up, push, push. Two, come on, Richard, one more. Come on, come on, buddy. And up, push, push, and again. Three, come on, one more. Come on. One more, Richard. Come on, my friend. Pump it up. Look, push. Good. Nice job. You got four out. <laughs> Without doubt, Richard was born with a natural strength. But to develop this incredible physique at such a young age, what was he forced to sacrifice? If you went into the house, you would never know a child lived there. There were no toys. I would say, doesn't Richard go down the street to the park and play with his friends? Well, I found out he had no friends. The father would not allow him out of the house. It wouldn't take much to realize that there was something fishy going on. <laughs> 